probably one of the most memorable seasons uh, simply because uh, of uh, all the you know adversity that we had to go through, all the resiliency that we had to show. Um, you know, one of the biggest things for us was uh, just continuing to fight each and every day, each and every uh, night when we go to battle. Um, you know, fans were amazing each and every game. Uh, can't thank them enough for coming out and showing their support. Um, this organization has been amazing. Uh, I think you know, one of the another one of the biggest things was uh, just our brotherhood and our unity. You know, how we all came together. You know, and you know, in a moment where you know our star player goes down, uh, Vic. You know, and other guys getting hurt, you know, throughout the course of the season, and, and just next guy mentality stepping up, um, you know, from the young guys all the way up to the veteran guys. So everybody stepped in and, and you know, you know, chipped in, and, and you know, we all went out there with a chip on our shoulders and just continued to play, and uh, we made the playoffs. As a captain of this team, how did you keep the spirits up even as you guys were going through all the adversity that you went through? Uh, just. You know, just getting them to understand that no matter what, we got to continue to fight. We got to continue to uh, play together as a team. Uh, continue to form our brotherhood and make it stronger. You know, in those in those those bad moments, uh, that's one of the biggest things. In bad moments, we all have to come together, and that's the only way we can overcome and uh, achieve you know, success. You guys really talked about building a culture here last year. This year, you were tested, and it seems that culture held up through the adversity. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the the beginning factor of when you're building a, a team, you're building some type of structure. You know, if you, you set the culture, you set the standard you know, uh, from the beginning, it usually helps uh, towards the end and it helps to, throughout the course of the season. You know, uh, that's one of the, the biggest things ever, culture. Culture building is, is huge for us, it's huge for any profession, it's huge for any sport. You, know, uh, you have some type of standard and culture set, set in stone, then I think it, it definitely helps. You're a veteran. You've been through many summers. How do you approach this summer? Uh, this summer, you know, just uh, just gonna take it day by day. Um, uh, obviously, uh, you know, we know we have a situation where we have to, you know, go into free agency and all this other stuff. Uh, we have a lot of guys on this team that's going into free agency. So, uh, my biggest thing right now is not even trying to focus on that, but focusing on my wife and my kids and just hanging out with them because you know, basketball takes so much of my time. It takes so much away from their time that they, they're supposed to have with me. So I have to you know, try to uh, figure out you know, how to give that back to them and, and the summers is definitely the time. You made a few stops in your career, but it seems like Indiana has really become a real home for not only you, but also your family. Is that fair to say? Yeah, definitely. Uh, like I said, you know, the community here, the organization, the fans, you know, everybody uh, welcomed us with open arms, and you know, um, you know, you know, I, I get people talking about my kids all the time, talking about how much you know they're respectful and how much they love them and they love having them around. Obviously, my wife is real big on social media, and you know, <laughs> you know, everybody's always she has her own little fan club now. So, you know, uh, you know, for me, you know, like I said, it's it's just all about going out there and just giving each and every night. You know, hopefully, um, the fans have seen that you know I, all I've done, you know, since I've been here is just continue to give my all, give my 110 percent, give my you know my mind, body, and my soul to this team and this organization, and uh, you know I'm gonna continue to do that. What message do you have for those fans about what you guys accomplished this year and the future of this organization? The uh, future is very bright. You know, um, you know, barring the situation that we have at our, you know, on our hands right now with a whole bunch of free agents, hopefully we can get um, everybody signed back or get a lot of the guys signed back. But um, you know, even with, with that being said, if no one signs back, you, know, you have a young group of guys that really know how to get after it. You know, and, Aaron Holiday, Domas, Miles, uh, TJ, you know, so, you know, you have some a young core group of guys that can really, really play, but, you know, um, hopefully, you know, I'm back next season, hopefully, you know, the rest of the guys are back, and uh, we can continue to just do this, 